What is up, everybody? Sangus Folger here, and I am back from Scotland. Uh, I had a great time there. It was awesome. But anyway, I have something uh, something new for you guys today, and it is really cool. Anyway, I, it does so many different things that I don't really know what to call it, so let's just, let's just call it the most awesome thing ever. Anyway, um, I'm just going to come over here and show you what it does. So I'm going to press this button right here, and it is going to drop me into the ceiling, equip me with armor... I mean, drop me into the ceiling, drop me into the floor, bounce me up into the ceiling, uh, equip me with armor, and then push me out into this secret room above where we were before. So uh, if you want to, you can just activate the system from an outside source if you want to get back down. And uh, it won't give you any fall damage because you bounce onto the slime block and it just bounces you back up. And you can have a little lamp here as long as you have a solid block right there. Otherwise, it won't work, but glowstone or the new sea lanterns, they work just fine. Um, but there's also another secret room that you can access from this same circuit. Circuit, whatever you want to call it. And uh, this is just a little thing that, that won't, it, it, it won't let the, the armor dispenser fire. So it, it does all of the same things, it just it doesn't activate those. Anyway, so we can press that, and it's a little bit difficult. I might not get it on the first try, but anyway, you're just going to drop down and then go over to the side. So uh, let's let's try this out, and it might lag a little bit, so it's going to be difficult to see. But I didn't make it. Let's try it one more time. And yeah, I made it. So now we can get back down here, and I didn't give myself a button. Uh, so, but if, if you can put, you, you can give yourself another button and, uh, I'll show you how to do that in the tutorial. But anyway, you can get, you can just jump right back out as long as you activate it with a little button that isn't there. Anyway, I'm going to show you the redstone and then we can start on the tutorial. So, kabonga! Alrighty, so I have to admit my favorite thing about this build is in fact not all of the crazy things it does, but the crazy size that it is. I managed to fit this thing in a three wide space, and it's only six deep and it's ten tall, but you gotta realize that it has all this extra space like up at the top and a little walkway down here. So I'm really proud of it. it uh, there's only one one line of redstone behind the actual wall here and it is it's flush with all the pistons and yeah it's it's epic probably one of one of the favorite things that I've ever built and but as you can see there's like there's actually a two high space but it, I put slabs down here so it's actually three high it will work if you just use solid blocks it just it doesn't look as cool but uh yeah anyway so uh let's go start on the tutorial so we're going to start with just a little piston right here and this is going to be the very base of it so you're not going to have to go down anything below this so we're going to place a, our slime block on top of this and then another piston above that with your half slab now the floor is going to be at this level Oops, right here so this piston extended just remember that so now we're going to come around here and uh, the wall is going to be on this side. So we're going to place a piston right here. And we're going to go over here and place two pistons. Oops. Facing into it like so. Now we're going to come over around like this. Place blocks there and there. And a half slab in the center. Then um, a repeater on one tick and a repeater on two. With dust right there. Now we're going to come up here and place a torch with a block above that and then come around this way, build blocks up around like that with a repeater on four ticks and a torch uh, beneath this piston right here. Now this will be butted and when this comes around it'll push this out of the way so the slime block doesn't stick onto this piston uh, but anyway we're gonna come around here uh, place a block right there with a torch above it and a block above that torch 
and another one off to the side. Now we're going to place a unmovable block, which can be obsidian, pumpkin, uh, furnace, anything like that. Place a repeater on one tick, and redstone dust. So now we're just going to come around this way and place a piece of redstone dust and a half slab right there with a repeater on four ticks. Now we're going to place a piston facing upwards with the block on top to create a monostable. Then we're going to come around here, uh, place a repeater coming out of that monostable on two ticks, just like so, with two blocks down here and redstone dust on both of them. Now we're going to come up around over here and place, yeah, right there, a sticky piston with a redstone block uh, on its face right there. And uh, you can go ahead and put in some of your, your floor right around here. Actually, this should probably be stairs. Um, but then we're going to come around like this, place a piece of dust right here, a torch on this block, then we're going to place a block above that, and if you remember this is going to be the wall, a uh, block above that torch with a torch on both sides, that's going to do that, just replace the torch, and yeah, it, nothing messed up. So we're going to come back around here, place a block above both of those torches, and a torch above this one. Now I'm just going to uh, copy the stair pattern on this side, right like so, and just tear that one out. Now we're going to place a redstone torch right there, block on top of that with another torch and another block above that one with yet another torch. Now we're going to place a block above that torch right there with blocks around like that. And we're going to place dust on all of those. Now we're going to come around here, place two sticky pistons up like that, and one facing down. Now we're going to come around here, place dispensers, and these are going to be holding the, uh, the armor. So if you don't want to have the armor equipper, then just make those regular blocks. But anyway, they're going to be facing into the contraption like that. Then we're going to go ahead and replace that piston right there, and it should go down. Now all we need is a red piece of redstone dust right there, and believe that's it finished so you just need to uh, make your floor do it however you like and uh, yeah that's pretty much it you can place a, a lantern in like that or if you want to make this a solid block then you can have a redstone lamp there and you just need to put a repeater in there just like that but that'll always be on and I think it looks better than a lamp anyway so uh, if you want to power this uh, from somewhere else all you need to do is power this redstone dust without um, basically from the side you can't come around in here as far as I know because it'll mess with this and or if you just have like dust then it'll redirect it and you don't want that either because it needs to be going into this block so you can put a repeater here and power this repeater or you can simply uh, power this block some uh, some other way. So let's say you wanted to make the little thing right here, just make some pathway. Uh, it doesn't really have to be slabs, but I put them there. Anyway, so make your little pathway around here, just like that. Um, oh, and I completely forgot a button. And yeah, it has to be a stone button, because that's That'll, that's the right distance for the right time length for it to push you out but uh yeah it, like for this one it doesn't really have to be a stone button anyway just place a button there 
flocks around like this. And all you need here is a repeater right there and a repeater right there. Doesn't really matter what delay they're on. And a piece of redstone dust right there. And that will activate the system for you. So you can just press the button. Press the button like oh, I'm stuck. Alrighty, so yeah, that, that is about it done. And uh, I hope you enjoyed this. Don't forget to leave a like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already because I've got a lot of cool stuff. And, uh, yeah, so thanks for watching, and I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.